to understand electrons, you have to also know a little bit about waves because even though electrons have mass, meaning they're particles, they have some properties that are similar to the property of waves. So what I have here is a picture of a wave, nice and perfectly symmetrical. And the distance between peak to peak or trough to trough or any two equivalent points on the wave, that's called the wavelength, which is abbreviated with a lambda. So because wavelength is a distance, it will be measured in some units of meters. New is the abbreviation for frequency, and frequency has units of seconds to the negative one, or capital HZ, Hertz. Frequency is the number of waves that pass by per unit of time. So the numerator, the number of waves, is unitless. The denominator is time, which is why we get inverse seconds. Frequency and wavelength are related by this formula, which is the speed. The speed of light, or all electromagnetic radiation, is C, 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second, and that equals the frequency times the wavelength. We also have a formula that relates the energy E to the frequency nu, and that energy is equal to a constant, Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joules times seconds. This gives you the energy of one photon of radiation. A photon is the smallest unit of light. You can think of it as a BB or a bullet of light. So a typical problem will ask you something like this. What is the frequency of blue light if you know the wavelength is 473 nanometers? So frequency and wavelength are re related by the energy formula. If we solve this for frequency, that's speed divided by wavelength. Constant speed, 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Divide that by the wavelength, 473 nanometers. And the units have to be converted into meters to cancel out the meters in the numerator. The meter cancels the meter, nanometers cancels, and we're left with inverse seconds, which is what a frequency must be. This is 6.34 times 10 to the 14th hertz. Once we have the frequency, we can answer the second question. What is the energy of one of these photons? So we use the formula E is equal to H times nu, Substitute in the constant and then our frequency. Seconds cancels inverse seconds, and this gives us an energy of 4.2 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. And remember, that is the energy of just one photon. So if we want to find the energy of 4 moles of photons, we simply need to scale this up. We can do this with dimensional analysis. How many joules would equal 4 moles of those photons? Every mole is Avogadro's number. And then we just found our conversion factor that tells us one photon of this light has an energy of 4.2 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. So 4 moles of photons, 1.01 .01 times 10 to the 6 joules.